Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook's Dynamic Creative to create a, an ad set and an ad that you can go ahead and split test a bunch of different variations to figure out which like copy and images work the best. And then later on, you wanna create an ad using the one that works the best. So that's what we're gonna do in this video, Dynamic Creative, let's get into it. So here I am in my ads manager and I'm gonna to go to my one of my campaigns and one of my ad sets. And so say like I've been running one for a little while and I've talked about this in another video, but like we check out our quality ranking, engagement rate ranking and conversion rate ranking. And we notice that it's not doing very well, right? It's below average across the board. And we're like, shoot, uh, I gotta do something about this because you know, I'm not getting the results that I probably should be getting. I'm, I'm performing below average. So anyway, I mean, I know what like the issue is with this one. My frequency is 6.26, which is ridiculously high. You usually want a frequency around three, and that would obviously improve my my rankings over here if I don't, you know, burn people out on the ad. So one thing I could definitely do is go ahead and adjust my budget. But anyway, besides that. Um, I want to go ahead and create some different variations of this ad to to see if I can come up with some better copy images, etc., and maybe you know increase my rankings there. So what I want to do is come back out to the ad set level, like I just did, and I want to go ahead and duplicate the ad set. And it's going to ask us a couple questions. So uh, there's original campaign. We want to leave this option set. Uh, we could. It says it's create a test to compare a new ad set to your original ad set. So that sounds like what something we want, but we don't. This gets a little confusing and your budget gets a little weird when you do uh, the A-B test within Facebook. So I recommend following the steps that I'm about to show you here. It's easier to, to keep track of and uh, it works. Um, so leave this the original setting and then number of copies of each ad set. We're just gonna do one because we're gonna use dynamic creative which will create a bunch of different ads for us. So we'll leave that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do here because you're gonna create a new ad anyway. So we can leave it checked and duplicate. All right, now I can go ahead and set up my ad set. So I'll probably do like di dynamic creative test, something like that, right? So, and of course I'm gonna keep my objective the same, which is traffic and it's to my website. But right here, I wanna go ahead and select the dynamic creative option and I wanna go ahead and turn that on. So that's what I wanna turn on so I can do dynamic creative, right? So I turn that on. I wanna leave my budget the same, audience the same, cause I'm still testing the same audiences. Uh, all this other stuff stays the same, automatic placements, all everything else stays the same. The things I'm testing have to do with my ad, not my targeting, right? So that's what I wanna go ahead and do. And then what I wanna do is come into my ad now and now I can go ahead and set up some different uh, copy images, et cetera, that, it, that Facebook can use to run tests on. So I go ahead and select my identity, of course. I have my ad format, so I'm gonna keep it single image or video. And then I can go ahead and select up to 10 images or videos to generate multiple combinations. So I can add some videos and images. All right, so now we get down to this option here, which is optimized creative for each person. So this is kind of a cool idea. So this is more for if you wanna run your dynamic ad for long term, like you want to just continuously run your dynamic ad, then Facebook can go ahead and optimize it, uh, the copy and text based off of individuals. So if you're running it long term, you could go ahead and leave this checked, but we're running this short term. We just wanna run it for long enough to get some data points on like what headlines working the best, what descriptions working the best, what image or video is working the best. That's what we're doing. We're doing a short, short term test uh, to figure out which combination of stuff works best. That's our goal with our dynamic ad. So we'll run this for a week or so maybe just to get enough data. And then we can go ahead and compare it against like our other ad that we have running, see if we have a better variation and so on. So we'll, we'll I'll talk about this later on in, in this video and we'll come and we'll create a new ad and all that stuff based off of our data. So you'll see it in real time as well. So anyway, we're gonna turn this off is my point because we're just doing a short term test. If you're doing it long term, go ahead and leave this checked. And then basically what you do is you come in here and you can create different texts and headlines and descriptions and you could even and calls to action and so on, so, and so on. And it, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? So if I want a new image, I come in here, select an image, and I can go ahead and pick an image out. 
and continue. I could go ahead and add new videos if I want to. Uh, if I want to add some new primary text, I click this button here, and then I can go ahead and you know type up some text in here, to test a different headline. Go ahead, headline. Cool, different uh, description if I want to, and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that real quick with actual words so we can actually run a good test, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and added some different stuff. So I added a couple images in addition to the video that I'm running already. So we'll see if an image or video does better. I added a different setup of copy. It pretty much says the same thing, but you know, a little different, right? See what works better. I added trying a different headline as well. So testing that out. And then I left the description the same because oftentimes you can't, the description doesn't show up anyway. So I think it's kind of, I don't, I don't know how much it helps to test that. You know, the, the headline and the image and the body, the text, um, are, are more important, right? So that's what I'm going after. Um, this is the same website URL. Call to action is the same. And then I can go ahead down here and plug in my parameter code. So I threw that in there real quick and cool. Uh, let me go ahead and change the name of this as well. I'll just call this dynamic creative. All right, so now this is what my ad looks like and I can view it on different devices and placements if I want to. And then I can also come up here to view more variations to see you know, any combination of uh, ad variation, right? So I can try it with this text here. I try it with this headline or sorry, this image right here. See what it looks like with this headline, like with this description, which I didn't change the description. And then I could change where it's showing up. And so I can just make sure you know, it looks good on all placements, right? So something like that. So anyway, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you can click around and see what it's all about. Uh, anyway, so I'm happy with it. I've got my variations. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it now. And it's gonna go out into the world and start running. And I'll come back and check on it in a few days and we'll look at the stats together and we'll cover what to do with this information that we're gathering. So I'll see you in a couple days. All right, so it's been a little over a week since I launched this test, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my results and see if there's any sort of combination of image, headline, text, etc., that's converting better than our control ad. So let's get into it. Uh, so here is my test right here. Again, I'm spending $2 a day, spent $18, so again, a little over two weeks, not two weeks, one week, uh, 33 clicks, 80.87% result rate, and so on. So th this are you know, the overall stats. But what we wanna look at is like the image, the headline, uh, the description or text, etc. So to do that, what we wanna do is come up to the breakdown report area here. And we wanna go ahead and look at the different categories here. So, and I'm under by dynamic creative asset, right? So if I do image, video, and slideshow, we click that. And now we see it drops down the different images that we were going and testing with our ad. And so we got you know, right here, we this one has the most results on it and cost per results 50 cents, which is less than what our uh, our control is. So that's kind of a good sign, right? So maybe this image is better than our control. But anyway, what we wanna go ahead and do now is compare the different, um, the different images and videos, the different creatives to each other. So what I like doing is using a, a split test or AB testing significance calculator, and I'm using Neil Patel's, but there's a bunch of them out there and I'll include a link to this one if you wanna check it out. It's easy and clean, so I like this one. But anyway, so what we wanna go ahead and do is we wanna go ahead and throw our impressions in here. So I didn't actually look what I had, 2567. So 2567, and then we wanna go ahead and throw our results, which are 25. So 25. And then we want to compare it to our other image. So I got 925, 925, and we've got six over here, six results. And it tells us now what, what happened. So test A converted 51% better, so that's pretty dang good, than test B. I'm 84% certain that the changes in test A will improve your conversion rate. Unfortunately, your results are not statistically significant. So basically what that means is there's not enough data for, for me to like be positive that version A is better, better than version B. 
Uh, it's only 84% significant. Usually you want a significance level of 95 or higher. And to get that, you need more data. So basically I need to spend more time and money pushing more traffic in order to make like a, a good decision on which creative is the best one. Now let's go ahead and check out our other creative as well. So I had 292 and two. So 292 and two. And so again, test A is better than test B by 43%. So it's not as not as better, if that's a word or phrase, not as better than this one, but you know, it's still better than the video one. So, and 72% certain again, I would need more data to make a good informed decision, but you know, the stats are showing that this image is better. All right, so moving on down, uh, website URL, we didn't test that, but if you were testing website URL, you could of course go ahead and run that. But we did test, test text. So we got a different, couple different combinations here. So we've got, let's see, we got 2256 and 20. 2256 and 20. And then we've got 1530 and 13. 1530 and 13. So test A converted only 5% better than test B. I'm 55% certain, blah, blah, blah. So the copy doesn't seem to be, you know, that significant 5%. I mean, 5% is kind of big, I guess, in, in a way, but it's not as big as, you know, the other one that was 51%, uh, the creative. So you can see, obviously, the creative, the image, the video, whatever it is, usually has the biggest impact on the performance of your ad. And, if you were to test anything at all, it'd be that creative right there uh, that's probably gonna get you the better results. But just for the sake of example, we tested several different variables. So anyway, this one right here is better than the other one. Um, again, not statistically significant, but you know, it's looking, looking headed in that direction. All right, we also tested one other thing, I believe, breakdown and headline. So we got a couple of different headlines here. All right, so this one looks like it did significantly better. I see just looking at cost per result at 46 cents versus 88 cents, so that's something to note. Uh, but anyway, we'll compare it 25, 49, and 26. 25, 49, and 26. And then we've got 12, 37, and seven. 12, 37, and seven. All right, so test A converted 81% better, so dang, that's pretty impressive, so your your creative your image or video and headline i mean it did a lot much more impact than my my text copy and my text copy wasn't that different really so that's not completely surprising i think i changed a few words but anyway point is uh kind of interesting and 95 percent certain right here so i definitely have a better headline my test is statistically significant so that's kind of cool i do have a provenly better headline so that's cool. All right, so just for the sake of example, let's go ahead and uh, like say that everything was statistically significant and we wanna go ahead and create a brand new ad using all the best stuff. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So what I wanna do is duplicate my ad set here and we'll leave all the default settings and just duplicate. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this one version two. So this is just my, my new ad. All right, uh, all the ad set stuff can stay the same, but I wanna come down here to creative, and I wanna go ahead and make sure I keep the best ones. So I wanna delete out this image, this video, and then I wanna go ahead and delete out the worst copy, and then I wanna go ahead and delete off the, the worst performing headline. So I'm only using the best stuff, right? So basically, I have only the best stuff here, and then I can come back to my my ad set and go to dynamic creative right here, and I'm gonna turn that off and continue. And then I'm gonna go back to here, and best ad ever. Of course, we can run more tests and everything. It'll be good to test you know, this ad versus the control ad now. Uh, so we'll let these two ads run for a little bit and see which one does better. And, and so basically the testing always continues. 
But anyway, we're gonna come down here and make sure that everything looks normal and right and everything, because sometimes when you switch off Dynamic Creative, some funky stuff kind of happens, so you just wanna double check and make sure everything's still looking good. Uh, yep, everything's looking good. So then I do request manual review and publish. And I'd go ahead and publish my new creative that's using the best combination of stuff, the best image or creative, the best headline, the best description or or copy at the top. And I'd come back out here and I wanna go ahead and turn off my test now. So now basically I'm running a test between these two, my my best ad ever and then my, my control ad. So in a week or two, I'd come back in here, I'd go ahead and change my time frame to only support the, the week or two that I've been testing, right? So I'd do like the last seven days. So that way I'm looking at like the most current stats for for my ads uh, when they're they're competing against each other, right? I wanna look at that same time frame when they're competing against each other. So I look at the same time frame and then I compare this ad to this ad and I'd use the statistical significance calculator, see which ad is better and so on. And then whatever one's better, I'd go ahead and leave running and I'd turn off this old one and then I'd probably do another dynamic creative of the new one and try and test something else, right? So it's like a never ending cycle of testing and yeah, that's how you do it. Do some ad testing or creative testing with Dynamic Creative. Hopefully this was helpful uh, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.